Okay, folks, red alert, use your own mind and your own brain, okay? Don't get caught up in propaganda of carbon, this, that, or whatever. Listen to symposiums, listen to scientists that are younger, that basically know that some part of your old teachings, i.e. that when you go to school, youngsters, why do I need to learn geometry if you're not going to use it? There is correct. If you know that your choice or your family's mindset or even your mindset because you're independent, you are a whatever you are, and at 18 years old, everything legalities becomes your own. Now, right now, factually, actually, we have these things that are going on. You should never get in trouble for broadening your mind in the United States of America. Okay? Study the high year effect. Hear your effect. Okay? That's how you spell it. Exactly how you spell it. Okay? Since 1980, the radioactivity on the sun has dropped, okay? We have 15,200 and ongoing records of heat, heat, folks, heat records, okay? And we have heavy rains records coming down, too. Carbon is a scam, okay? Basically, they're trying to make an industry of it, and basically, the guy that's in the White House right now who's supposed to be running everything that really never is because the person that is the president's never really running everything. He has to get all the money in the country, in the world, to go his way to run the most powerful country in the world. Does he run, in the, does he run this country? Not really. Now, carbon and air, but the fact is that there is possibly more ash from volcanoes in just a short amount of time, in which they're still ramping up. We know that, that or dirtying the sky by Mother Nature's way. Okay, water is a gas. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's heavy right now. And we're getting heavy rains. We were supposed to have this La Nina cooling effect, and we have record heat in the country and in the world. Okay, last year prediction was for. Uh, the La Nina effect was supposed to be cooling, okay? La Nino is the heating effect, okay? Then you have the Al Gore, who basically, got to remember, he kissed every communist ass in this country, unless the idea that, oh, he was the super take down the communist people, and he gets makes stupid remarks, which basically, he would never be able to pass a drug test. The actual factual, that the idea that he said that he invented the internet, yeah, Okay, so you never want somebody like that to be, and they're scary that what we have in power now that's not even an American citizen uh, goes to college under a, a, a name of Satoro or whatever the heck, Barry, Barry Satoro, Satoro. Uh, everything's pretty much a sham, pretty much. When you get old enough, you realize that. Uh, record on history, fourth recorded history in our record of time of keeping Records, drought, heat records, okay? Record fourth on record, okay? The record fourth page of records on history, known to man, of heat records. We are in it right now, ladies and gentlemen. Probably this winter, another light, light winter. We do have weather propagation. We have produced pretty much a cooling effect in North America as much as we possibly can. Okay, they are actually doing it. Chemtrailing exists. We all know it. Chemtrailing and weather modification exists. Okay, now sitting on those facts. Now, if you pay attention to some articles that people bring up, and basically yes, but you have to remember when they talk about a 1,500 mile or something like that kilometers, 1,500 kilometers over the past century. Okay, and that's a century, ladies and gentlemen. 100 years. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But as far as I know, and then so they go 150 years. In the past 150 years, 1,500 kilometers, remember one thing. Let me show you for a fact. And very easy to remember is solar and basically weather modification exists because that's why we have all these pictures to be able to control weather. Okay, seed clouds, chemtrail. And your polar drift is a good example right here of showing you the actual factual of that when we do that 1,500 kilometers, it's actually in a, yes, a snake, a coil, okay? It has to be because we rotate, okay? So, yes, is there going to be just a shift of flipping 
the earth is not going to just instantaneously flip. Everybody's always trying to doom people that the end of the world is coming. It's not, okay? Currently, Central Standard Time is always down here in the corner, and basically we had a 5.5 and 5, uh, I think like a 4.8 precursor to that down there, and we also had the 5.3, okay, and remember, more than likely, these rang off at probably about 5.7, and probably uh, the 5.5 was probably pretty close to a 6, okay? Now, you have to realize that this is the latest, I believe, but USGS doesn't report everything. I went ahead and refreshed one page. Now, folks, when they say Milky Way, remember, it's basically the magnetic field, and basically light is a wave, and basically that's why the Milky Way is just a wave in space. And people have to start realizing the actual factual that just about anybody that's in NASA, it's in jet propulsion or anything, like that. they actually know they're not been taught well they have been taught at their job or at their college or what they went to that there is more than one sun and you know for an actual fact a star is a sun and there's way more than one sun and we have the super giants okay some people are waking up to Bino's fact that the idea the Chinese are possibly going to start a cold war with a lot of different countries because the idea that they're probably going to try to land on the moon and they probably will Who's going to get there first is the key thing, okay? Now, all this stuff in the main sequence and white dwarfs and so, and the brown dwarfs are very large. We know about the meatball. Been showing you on the Sechi coverage. Basically, what's going to have to happen is a lot of stuff in space is going to have to be actually factually admitted to that's out there, okay? Not just this BS that we've been getting taught in school and throughout history, okay? This stuff's all out there, okay? And it's huge. Earth is very small. We're hiding out in a rabbit hole. And someone actually wakes up to the idea and the actual factual. Watch my last video of showing the magnetograms, of showing that basically the sun spirals through space. And what you're seeing is clocks of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, the farthest known things that we have, way out past Neptune and Uranus. Yep. On to explore Neptune and Uranus and going to the outermost edges of the sun and beyond, the darkness, because the meatball is out there in the darkness and a lot of stuff is in the darkness of space. On our Earth's back door, not towards the sun, into the Milky Way, into the light waves, into the magnetical of Earth. The possibility that Earth could become a moon and fall out of magnetism of the sun could happen with many things. Could happen with a combinedness of actions between Rigel, uh, basically strike that, but Alaraf and a lot of the stuff that's in the sun and the supergiants, which basically sure seems to be showing that it's up there by the sun and so forth. Okay, always pay attention to how far and keep up with the data that's going on with Voyager one and two. It's more than thirty-five years old. Okay, Voyager one. Voyager 2 also, okay? This basically gives you a good view of what we know as the Big Bangs, more than just one Big Bang, okay? Out in space, the Milky Way has a graveyard of crap, okay, from way more than one explosion, okay? You see this ring, all right? And as I come down, you'll see the outer ring, and there's all kinds of rings, that's why when we find a new galaxy out there, they show you this big old spiral out there, okay? We, Earth, are hiding out in a little hole, okay? The moon, the sun. We don't want to go to Mercury. We don't go and go to Venus. We, these, these planets are totally uninhabitable. We ain't going to go to Mars. It's a joke, okay? It's too close to the flipping sun, okay? We are just far enough, Earth are just far enough away, 
Okay. Earth, yes. Hiding behind the moon? Correct, for certain things. The moon's had a lot of shit hit it. Earth has had a lot of stuff hit it. There's craters. Okay. Jupiter's the biggest goddamn thing we know in the Milky Way galaxy. But we know all, if you back up my videotape and you look at the supergiant stuff, this stuff all exists. This stuff is all humongous. Up to 1,800 times out of the sun. Okay? This stuff exists out there. We need to get out of the Stone Age and start talking about what's actually out there in space. And the space race is on, ladies and gentlemen. Now, when you go to the synoptic maps and you figure out actually that the idea that we have three suns and you can just figure it out by watching the path, look for the Coke wave, ladies and gentlemen. The sun travels through space in a wave. Okay? There, the sun that we know of, right there, okay? It travels through space in a wave, okay? In a wave that doesn't have a magnetic like you see these planets. All these planets have a magnetical. Just like I've showed you Earth's magnetic, it shows up, okay? When we look at it out there in space, okay? we The sun doesn't, okay? And neither does this huge object that's up by the sun. And this is, yes, pretty damn fresh stuff. So the actual factual that this stuff is up there, very large distances between, but the sun does not like anything in its neighborhood, okay? And actually right now, we don't have anything fresh, but this is the most recent, and again, you'll see the time it ends up showing here. If I move out here, this would have been the time in the release shots when they eventually show up, okay? That is the sun okay this is the sun this is a different satellite shot different satellite shot ahead and behind okay so now its path is ends up being a large wave through space okay i'll take you to the previous shot and we'll just go previous month previous month and you'll see the wave that goes through and they know that sun rifles through space it does a wave Day, it does a coke wave okay going through space and over time you see the path of the sun okay and the planets that are around out there with the sun okay and actually factually you can dig up enough by looking at it and just and looking at it with your eyes it's eye data okay this is a facsimile of objects in space up by the sun and in the sun's path through actual space the Milky Way galaxy is a humongous bunch of big bangs, okay? Uh, and it's traveling through space, okay? Actual factual, everybody at NASA knows that the sun rifles, the Earth rifles. We rifle, we don't go on a flat stereo. We do go in a stereo rotation, but it is in the actual objects doing the rifling through space. And the actual factual for that is when you look at solar artists, our auroral action proves it, okay? Absolutely proves it, okay? Right now, the North Pole is pretty much dead on, but you've seen the movement, and our ass is still wagging, okay? You watch the aurorals. We do a rifle through space. Even though the Earth rotates through space, we rifle, okay? And we're going through the magnetical poles and having a bunch of quakes, okay? I.e., all these quakes in the last 14 days, okay? Okay? All these quakes. Yes, all these earthquakes, ladies and gentlemen. All of them. Tons of them. Matter of fact, they're not all on here. That's what I have showed you. Is basically, you have to go to more than one reference to get all the quakes all around the world. Okay? All of them. This is only 14 days. Okay? It's only 14 days. Not even. Okay? Actual facts, we have more weight at our South Pole right now than we know of, okay? We're at record highs, okay? Actual facts. Record high ice, South Pole, record low North Pole. Don't freak out. We're just doing what we normally know is about a 13-year pattern, okay? It happens. Don't Remember, you got a minus 7.49 million miles square miles from 7.51 million square miles, okay? It's not that damn much. It's a 13-year cycle. Everybody needs to quit freaking, okay? The world ain't going to flip. So 20,000 square miles total, so maybe a foot more of ice all around Antarctica gives you 20,000 miles, okay? Square miles. 
Big deal.